dividing simple fraction, whole number by fraction, and vice versa. Before we proceed, let's have some review on how to find the reciprocal, whole number 4. As we all know that a whole number has a denominator of 1. So, ang whole number daw po ay merong uh, imaginary denominator na 1. So, automatic po meron siyang denominator na 1. So, kung gagawin nating fraction, ang 4 ay 4 over 1. Then, the reciprocal of a whole number is 1 over the whole number. So, ang reciprocal ng 4 ay 1 fourth. 2 fifths. To find the reciprocal of a fraction, swap the positions of the numerator and denominator. So, you interchange daw po natin yung position ng numerator and denominator. So, pagpapalitin lang po natin. So, yung 2 fifths, ang reciprocal niya ay 5 over 2 or 5 halves. One and one half. Paano natin kukunin ang reciprocal ng mixed number? To find the reciprocal of a mixed number, change the mixed number to improper fraction. Then, swap the positions of the numerator and denominator. So, 2 times 1, the answer is 2, plus 1, 3. So, 3 over 2 or 3 halves. But then, hindi pa ito ang reciprocal. So, interchange po natin yung numerator and denominator. So, 2 over 3. Let us divide a whole number by a simple fraction. 5 divided by 2 thirds is equal to n. To divide whole number by a simple fraction, Change the whole number to a fraction by affixing 1 as denominator. So, ang gagawin daw po natin, yung whole number ay gagawin nating fraction. Lalagyan po natin ng denominator na 1. So, yung 5, magiging po siyang 5 over 1. Change the division sign to multiplication sign. So, yung division po ay gagawin natin siyang multiplication. So, gagawin po natin siyang times. Get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, yung 2 third, pukunin natin yung reciprocal. So, magiging po siyang 3 over 2 or 3 halves. Then, multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So, 5 times 3 and 1 times 2. So, 5 times 3, the answer is 15. 1 times 2, the answer is 2. Then, simplify the answer if possible. So, makikita nyo, yung answer ay improper fraction. So, ang gagawin po natin, i-divide natin yung numerator by the denominator. So, yung 15 divided by 2. So, 15 divided by 2, the answer is 7. 7 times 2, 14. Then, subtract. 15 minus 14, the answer is 1. So, anong gagawin natin? So, yung quotient o yung sagot, yun po ang gagawin nating whole number. Then, yung remainder ay gagawin po natin siyang numerator then Copy the denominator, 2. So, magiging siyang 7 and 1 half. Dividing a fraction by another fraction. 3 fourths divided by 1 third is equal to n. To divide fraction by another fraction, copy the first fraction or the dividend. Okay, i-retain po natin yung 3 fourth or kokopyahin lang po natin. Change the division sign to multiplication sign. Okay, 
papalitan po natin yung division ng multiplication. Then, get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, yung divisor na one-third ay gagawin po natin siyang 3 over 1 kasi babalik ta rin po natin. Then, multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. 3 times 3, the answer is 9. Then, 4 times 1 equals 4. Then, simplify the answer. 9 over 4. So, since improper fraction, i-divide po natin yung numerator by the denominator. So, 9 divided by 4, the answer is 2. 2 times 4, 8. Then, 9 minus 8, the answer is 1. So, ganun ulit ang gagawin natin. Yung quotient, gagawin natin whole number. Then, yung remainder, gagawin natin numerator. Then, copy the denominator. So, magiging siyang 2 and 1 fourth. Next is dividing a mixed number by a fraction. 2 and 3 6 divided by 1 half is equal to n. To divide a mixed number by a fraction, rename the mixed number as an improper fraction. So, gagawin daw po natin improper fraction yung mixed number. So, 6 times 2, the answer is 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. Then, copy the denominator, 6. So, 15 over 6. So, change the division sign to multiplication sign. So, gagawin po natin multiplication yung symbol or yung sign. Then, get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, yung 1 half magiging po siyang 2 over 1. Then, proceed to multiplication. Multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So, 15 times 2, the answer is 30. Then, 6 times 1 is equal to 6. Since improper fraction yung answer, 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5. 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Then, 30 minus 30 is 0. So, kapag wala pong remainder, whole number po ang magiging final answer natin. So, 30 over 6 or 5. Ngayon po ay subukan po nating sagutan yung mga learning tasks na makikita sa ating self-learning module. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig at panonood. Ito po si Sir Marvin. Salamat!